This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Storyblocks. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a glossy silver cinematic logo animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. If you're watching my video for the very first time, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press that bell notification icon so you always get notified whenever I post a new video. With that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition 1920 by 1080 30 FPS and let's make this 10 seconds long. I'll call this render as our main render or a final composition. Hit OK. Let's create a new composition which is going to be our logo placeholder. So I'm going to call this logo. And for this, I will be using the F1 logo. You are, of course, you can, of course, use um, your own logo or whichever logo that you want. I want to use this one. I don't need this TM, that is the trademark symbol that we have. So I'm going to select the pen tool and make sure I select the layer. And let's create a simple mask around this. And then select the layer, hit M and invert the mask. All right. There we have our logo. Now let's create one more composition, which is going to be our reflection comp because we will be creating our own reflection for the, the glossy silver look that we get. So I'm going to call this a ref for reflection. Hit OK. Let's create a new solid. So hit Control Y to create a new solid called this fractal. And as you can guess, we will be using the fractal noise. So I'll go into effects and preset, type in a fractal. And let's use the fractal noise for the fractal type. I'll set this to turbulent smooth and let's increase the contrast a little bit. And also the brightness just a touch. Then I'll go into the transform properties, unlink the uniform scaling. Let's increase the scale width a little bit like so and increase the scale height way high, like something like 10,000. So you get this really nice strokes kind of thing. And also I'll bring down the complexity down to one. I think one is a bit too low. Let's go with two. That looks good. And then basically we can play around with the evolution to get the desired look, but we can also animate the turbulence offset. So let's create a keyframe on the offset turbulent. Let's go all the way up to 10 seconds and I'm going to move this a little bit like so. So basically we have a simple movement here, maybe a little bit more. All right. That is looking good, but I don't want to keep my reflections very solid and straight. So to add some randomness, what I can do is add a turbulent display. So let's go into effects and preset and type in turbulence displacement. And you can see we get this really interesting look. So let's increase the amount a little bit, something like around 70 or something. That looks good. Let's also increase the size. And you can see it looks pretty nice. You can always play around with the evolution to get desired look. So this is looking pretty good. And that is all we need to do to create our reflection. Now let's um, create a new composition. I'm going to call this logo edge. Hit OK and let's drag and drop in the logo composition into this. Go into effects and preset and type in fill so we can add a fill and add some color to the logo. I'm going to keep this black. Select the layer, hit Ctrl D and make this white. And on this, let's actually turn on the transparency grid so you can see what's going on here. So I'm going to go into effects and presets and add a simple choker and let's increase the simple choker to around six or something. So, you know, we can get this nice edges. 
now i want to blur out this edges so it looks much better when we create a reflection so let's create a new adjustment layer i'll call this blur go to effects and preset and type in fast box blur all right let's increase the blur radius to somewhere around three should be good all right so that looks good now let's create a new composition again i'll call this animation and this is where our main animation will take place so hit okay now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor storyblocks as an editor how much time have you wasted looking for that perfect video clip or maybe that perfect music for your videos or a simple graphic animation as an editor don't you wish there was a simple and affordable way to find the clips and graphics for your projects what if i told you there is there is storyblocks storyblocks offers thousands of studio quality and royalty free stock video clips after effects templates motion graphics backgrounds intros and so much more everything is royalty free so you can use it for your commercial projects or for your old youtube videos which is super awesome Storyblocks offers affordable subscription plans that scale to meet your needs and a new video editing tool called Maker. I use Storyblocks myself for my client projects because with their unlimited all access plan, I can download unlimited assets and use Maker and I only have to pay a single price per year. So go ahead and check out storyblocks.com slash dope motions or click the first link in the description below. Let's drag and drop in the logo edge composition that we just created. We can turn that off. I'm going to drop in the reflection comp and then on that I'm going to drop in the logo composition. So we have something like this. Now let's change the reflection comps track mat to alpha mat. So I'm going to hit F4, go into track mat and set this to alpha mat. So we get something like this. Pretty cool. Now let's go into effects and preset and add some depth. So I'm going to use CC glass, which is a built in pretty amazing effect and you can do a number of different things using this now for the bump map now we will be using the logo edge here and this is going to help us to get a depth into our logo so let's bring down the softness to you know something like around five looks good i'll bring up the height a little bit so we get the desired look that we are going for and also i'm going to bring down the displacement so, you know, you can play around with this and get a really interesting look. I think this looks good. You can all, always play around with the height depending on the look you want to go for. But I think 82 is looking pretty nice. Now let's go into the light setting. And change the light type from distant light to point light. And that's all. That's all we need to do in the CC glass effect. Now I will be adding one more effect called CC blobilize double click to add that go into the blobiness and again I'm going to change the blob layer to a logo edge and as you can see it looks pretty awesome right off the bat but let's tweak some settings here so I'm going to bring down the softness to around 3 and bring down the cutway to 0 and now you can see before and after get a really nice finish to our glossy silver chrome effect whatever that you want to call it let's go into the light and let's increase the light height a bit to around 75 so it looks much better and as you can see if i just preview this you see it's getting this nice glossy effect but let's take it a step further so what i'm going to do is let's select these two layers hit ctrl d to duplicate it select the reflection layer go into the cc glass and i'm going to increase the softness a bit more to around like something like 40 or let's go with something like 30. all right and change the blending mode of this to screen and as you can see we get another layer of detail into our logo so i can play around with the softness a bit i'll increase the height a bit more and let's bring that down just a little bit something like that that is looking pretty nice and as you can see we have added a bit more detail to our chrome logo i'll go into the light properties and i'm going to bring that down a bit something like that looks good and for this one as well i'm going to bring down the light height a little bit down to 40 or something and i can see we get 
a very interesting look so let's go ahead and actually animate this i'm gonna animate the opacity of the reflection layer so i'm gonna hit t create a keyframe and bring down the opacity to zero let's uh, go to two seconds and set this all the way up to 100 we can select the keyframes and hit f9 to ease, ease them and that's all we have to do here now let's go into our main render composition drag and drop in the animation comp let's create a new solid for the background so hit ctrl y call this bg for background and i'm going to keep this black hit ok put this at the back and now let's add a little bit of scale animation to this so i'm going to hit s create a keyframe set this to around 90 i'll go to around 5 seconds and set this to 100 so we have a little bit of scale animation going on with the logo that looks good let's create some glows on this to make it look much better so what i'm going to do is duplicate this hit ctrl d call this glow and then go into effects and preset and add a gaussian blur let's set this to around 250 and repeat edge pixels also i'm going to set the blur dimension to horizontal only so we get this really nice look and then finally i will add levels to this so go into effects and presets type in levels and let's bring this out just like so and then hit f4 and change the blending mode of this to screen let's tweak this a little bit maybe i want the lines to be visible very subtle and as you can see we get this really nice glows at the edges also i can switch to 16 bits so hold alt and click on this button so it's gonna switch to 16 bits per channel and you can see it looks pretty nice all right let's go ahead into the assets and i'll be using a particles layer that i got from story blocks i'm going to set the blending mode of this to screen and also bring down the opacity a bit so let's bring that down around 20 that looks good you know we get some nice particles going on and finally now to add a nice polished look to this i'm going to create a new adjustment layer called this cc for color correction go into effects and presets and type in my favorite effect that is curves switch to blue channel and let's bring that out a bit just a touch so it looks much more refined as you can see before oh before and after looks good and also now we can add a simple fade out but instead of using a simple black fade out let me show you a really quick trick to create some very nice uh, fade outs so let's create a new adjustment layer called this fade then go into fix and preset and type in gradient gradient wipe set the transition softness to 50 and i'm gonna create a keyframe on the transition completion go to six seconds and set this to 100 then i will type in fast box blur that we will use that we will be using hit u so we can see the keyframes and animate it along with this so create a keyframe go to six seconds and set this to around something like 10 and now you can see we will be getting some nice fade out which looks very nice and cinematic so let's preview the complete animation now and boom there we go there we have our silver glossy cinematic logo animation inside of after effects without using any plugin so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow me on instagram at dope.motions also if you're watching my video for the very first time then please do subscribe and press that bell notification icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video so with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out